Hello gamers! Welcome to the Great Guide of Rare High made in 2019 to help you out in 2020. So I actually made this last year and I decided to make it this year as well because it was really fun to make, especially finding out how much everything cost in Rare High. Cause it's gone up, that's all I can say. But anyways, let's go and start off with the first subject. So first of all, we need to meet the Rare High team because all of them do different things and they have a wide variety of different social medias. There is Instagram, Twitch, Twitter and YouTube. So of course you'll want to know what their usernames are on all of these different medias. So first of all, we have a Kate Car 22 the rare writer who writes most of the fountain stories and also sorts out all of the outfits that we wear. And so she has an Instagram account called Kate Car 22 underscore a Twitter account called KateCar22 and a YouTube channel called Kate Car Gaming. Next we have i7, one of the scripters of Rare High. He made the outfit transformations, phones and trading. And so he has a Twitch account called ddog underscore 007, a Twitter account called ddog underscore 007 and a YouTube channel called i7. Next we have Launcelot Handsome, the main animation maker, diamond hider and anything that Rare High needs help with. And so here's a Twitch account called Launcelot Dev 92 a Twitter account called Launcelot92 and a YouTube channel called Launcelot Dev 92 Next we have Cormibob, the founder of Rare High, makes most of the stuff in game, has made several realms and things like that. And so she has a Twitter account called Night Barbie and a YouTube channel that she never uses called Aura Frost. <laughs> Next we have Suki Meki, a fashion designer, makes a lot of the accessories that are in Rare High as well as different hairstyles and hair colours. And she has a Twitter account called Yuichi underscore ZC. Next up we have BSM Realm Builder, she made the 2019 Christmas Realm and so she has a Twitter account called BSM Roblox. And then we have Closet underscore Skeleton, graphics designer, he designed the GUI that we have and various other things. And he has a very long list of medias, okay, are you ready to hear this? None. That, that's his medias, I know it's so long. <laughs> Then we have Ironclaw33, the other script of Rare High, he focuses mostly on scripting for the Rams and he doesn't have any medias. <laughs> So outfit hacks are an amazing thing that you can use inside of your outfits to make them look even better. Outfit hacks are when you get accessories that may look a bit boring on their own and you combine them together to make an accessory that looks amazing. And so we have two tips on how to make some really great outfit hacks. And trust me, two tips is all you need. So tip number one, hats. Hats, 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 hats. Always have hats. Because <laughs> hats give out so many opportunities for outfit hacks. Because if we go to the hats category, you can see there are so many hats that you can use. Yeah, there's a lot. And so that means that you have a lot more opportunities on outfit hacks that you can make. For example, let's go and get this accessory. I'm just going to go and put it on in white. Then I'm going to get something else. What about the crow headband? Actually, no, I don't think that would look nice because the bonnet already has something that's coming outwards, if that makes sense. So what about the hair clips? Maybe that will look good. And ta-da, we just made an outfit hack, just like that, out of nowhere. I didn't plan this or anything, and I just created an outfit hack. It's really that simple. Almost any hack combination can make an outfit hack. You just need to think about which accessories would show up where. You can see that these wings are going outward, but the bonnet is more centered. It is going up, but it isn't going out, but the wings are, which means they go well together. Let's go and just make something else if we go and remove both of these and then we go back to the hats category so what about the designer beret let's try that let's go and get that on and then let's go and get something else on that I think would look good okay this accessory will probably be a bit harder because it's like tilted to the side so we need another accessory that has a tilt 
The spider crown has a tail, but it's the wrong way. But we can go for the back top hat. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. We just made another outfit hack, although it's not a very good one because the bat wings are going into the designer beret. I think we're going to try a different one. We can definitely get a better one than that. <laughs> What about the dear dolly headband? Let's try that out if you go and get that on. And then what about the hood disguise? I think I've did this one before, so I'm going to do something else instead. What about the tennis visor? Nope, that does not work out because it doesn't go on the top at all. Designer beret? Nope, because that's angled. Pom pom beanie will probably work if you go and get that on. And I think that is a success. It's another outfit hack. If we add on some hair so we can see it a bit better, you can see that the Dear Dolly headband is adding a touch to the pom pom beanie and making it more girly and fancy. And just making the accessory seem a lot better than it actually is on its own. The second tip I have is kind of similar to the one that I just gave. It is to use items that are in the same sort of category. So for example, if we go to back slash shapes, we may want to combine some of these because they are all going to go in similar positions. So maybe we could combine two tails together, for example. We can go and get on this tail and then we can go and add on the fluffy tail. And then let's go and see what that looks like. And there we go, it works perfectly. You can see how the tail goes perfectly in the position. And so that is a great outfit hack we just made right there. And so if we go remove both of these items, let's go for a different category that would seem a bit harder. What about the neck slash shoulders? Okay, we can see that there aren't many, which means that this will probably be really hard to make an outfit hack with, but I think we can still make one. Maybe we can get the Grand Duke on and then we can add on the Goth Lolita sleeves? Nope, okay. The Grand Duke doesn't work with this because it's designed for tall characters and not short characters like mine. <laughs> So maybe we can have the Goth Lolita sleeves with something else though, like the Princess Poofy sleeves. There we go, we just created another outfit hack. You can see how the ruffles from the Goth Lolita sleeves go perfectly with the Princess Poofy sleeves. It does show up slightly at the back, so this isn't the best outfit hack, but it's an outfit hack nonetheless, and you all can experiment with this as much as you like in order to find the best outfit hacks that there are. So when you first go to use the fountain, it will come up with a starter story. And so at this point, you still have a choice as to whether you want to use the fountain or not. If you choose to walk away, then you are able to click on the fountain again, and then it will give you a different starter story, although the starter stories don't make any difference to the fountain. But as soon as you make that choice to press the make a wish button, there is no turning back because if you reset your character or if you leave the game, then you have to wait the full three hours. If you decide to make a wish, then you'll be greeted with the main story. And so this is when you will have a scenario that is given out. And so now the story starts to matter. Because after the whole story is read out, you will have to make a choice out of A, B, C or D, which have different colours. And so only one of the choices is able to give you a halo. Some of the choices have you been able to get either diamonds or XP. Some of them have two different things that they could give you. So it could give you diamonds or XP. Some of them only have one thing that they can give you. So it like definitely gives you diamonds or definitely gives you XP. Some of them it can be any of the three. So you can win diamonds, lose diamonds or get XP. So once you make a choice, the entire box will go in that colour of the colour that you chose. And then if you're lucky enough to have won a halo, your screen will change colour. Then you will have the ending story when you find out what your decision did and you find out what you have won. So you can see here I won 619 diamonds. Maybe if I'd picked a different option, I would have got XP or maybe even lost diamonds. <laughs> So farming diamonds in Rare High is not an easy task and it is very important that you find the best way for farming diamonds for you. So if you don't have the Faster Flight Game Pass then this method that I'm going to be showing is not for you but I recommend you check out my video when I show you how to get lots of diamonds fast without having any game passes at all. 
Now, if you do have the Faster Fight Game Pass, then you can do this, even if you don't have any of the diamond multipliers. It gives you slightly more diamonds than the method I used in my video of how to get lots of diamonds without game passes. So here we are inside of the Rare High Castle, and what you want to do is double tap your jump button, so whether it's the jump button or whether it's space, face the back of the castle and you want to go along this way until you see a tower that will have a green diamond in it. Since it is currently the winter update, the towers aren't here, but there would be a tower here and you would be able to get the green diamond at the bottom of it. So then you want to fly over this way until you see a hut. And inside of this hut, there is a 20 diamond for you, which will give you 120 diamonds if you have both of the diamond game passes. Then you want to go and fly over this way. You could get the diamond that is on here, which gives you five diamonds. But if you're struggling to get that, I would say don't bother. It's not worth it. But if we come over here, here is a diamond that is definitely worth it. It is the diamond on top of the lighthouse that gives you 20 diamonds. And then you want to go over the other way. So back where you just came, you can use the bridge in order to know which way you need to go. You're basically just following that, but going slightly to the right and then you'll see this waterfall area if you drop down over here you'll be able to get a lot of diamonds and then you can fly over to this section where you'll be able to get a lot more diamonds now over here it's a bit hard to get the diamonds these ones are easy but you want to get that 60 diamond that is right there and so some people prefer to zoom in when they do this, I personally prefer not to zoom in. You want to make sure that you're flying at the fastest speed and then you want to aim straight towards that diamond and then you should be able to get it without glitching in the middle of the grass. And then you want to walk out of this rock and then fly in order to ensure that you don't crash into the walls once you're getting out. <laughs> And then you want to come into the principal's office where there will be a lovely 120 diamond weight for you, 20 if you don't have the diamond game passes. And then you want to come outside and face this way and then come out and then go over to the art studio. And so the art studio has a lot of diamonds in it that you can get. If you go inside of here and you zoom in, what you want to do is a double tap so that you're flying, make sure you're flying at the fastest speed and you want to fly straight into this wall. If you're flying fast enough, you'll be able to get through this wall. If you're not, you may want to go to the other end of the room and just keep on trying until you manage to get through. You could try the chill glitch where you chill at the wall, but it doesn't work very well now, so I don't recommend it. Once you manage to get through, you can go and grab this diamond over here at the top of the tree. Now for that one, I don't recommend that you fly completely to get to the top of it. I recommend you fly to get onto the tree, but then you actually just climb manually. And then I also recommend that you climb manually when you're going and getting these diamonds. It gives you about 300 diamonds altogether, and there is another diamond that gives you 60, which means that you'll get approximately 400 diamonds here altogether. So if you come up and you fly over here, you can go and get this green diamond, there you go, add another 60, and that is my entire routine of farming diamonds. So then what you can do is you can press to teleport and then you choose to go to rare high. Because you are on a private server, this means that when you choose what would be to go into the same server again, because that server has been emptied, that means that you'll actually be teleported to a different server, which means all of the diamonds that you just collected will be back instantly and you can continue farming diamonds. Now after you've been farming diamonds for about half an hour, your energy need is going to be low, so you want to teleport to the apartment. If you go and get out your magic's teleport here and you choose to go to your apartment, and then when you arrive at your apartment, you can go straight to bed, have a lovely, well-deserved nap. And this means that after you sleep, you'll get a lot of XP, 200 XP if your percentage goes all the way down to zero. And this means that you'll be able to earn some more diamonds this way. Because when your XP bar goes full with 300 XP, you level up and you get 300 diamonds, 1,800 diamonds if you have both of the diamond game passes. And so now I've finished sleeping and my XP has gone up. Unfortunately, it is not up enough for me to level up, but I can keep on farming diamonds using the method I just showed and then go to sleep inside of Rare High and get lots of XP and diamonds really fast. <laughs> So as I 
long time rare high player, you may decide to invest some of your robux into some of the game passes just to make rare high a little bit more enjoyable for you. So I decided to range these game passes into the order that I personally think would be best to get them if you decide to get some of the game passes in terms of like how useful they are and stuff and how likely you are to use them. So first I put the faster flight game pass and the VIP server because the faster flight game pass like I showed with the diamonds is really helpful so that you can customize your flight speed from slow to fast and it means that you are able to get diamonds really fast as well as just moving across the entire rare high map really fast so that you don't have to spend like two minutes to go from the lighthouse over to the towers so I also recommend that you get the VIP server with this at like the same time or you could just like steal someone else's VIP server <laughs> but VIP servers are really helpful because it means that you're not competing with anyone to get diamonds and that automatically means that you're going to be getting a lot more diamonds since no one else is going to have grabbed them first so next I recommend you get the times two and dimes four diamond game passes these are pretty expensive but they are definitely worth it because it helps a lot if you are constantly farming diamonds in order to get all of the new accessories like I used to buy a lot of diamonds with robux I don't really do that anymore now I just farm diamonds and the diamond game passes are really helpful for that because thanks to them it means I can get around 30,000 diamonds per hour which means I don't have to spend that many hours farming diamonds in order to own everything inside of rare high and it means that I don't have to go constantly spending robux on diamonds especially since now you have to pay like an extra hundred pounds in order to get the same amount of robux that you used to be able to get from that like big package because before I think it was like 200 pounds and you'd get over 30,000 robux but now it costs 100 pounds for only 10,000 robux sorry but that ain't worth it <laughs> so next up I recommend you get the 120 hair colors game pass because it makes your avatar look really nice and also there aren't many free colors and the ones that are free don't look the best let's be honest <laughs> I think like the only free one that I actually use is the lighter shade of brown and occasionally the black but I hardly ever use that and yeah with the hair colors game pass there are so many other possibilities that you can see it says there are 120 plus new hair colors and it also only costs 50 robux which is less than one pound so it's not much at all <laughs> and then afterwards I recommend you go and get the fabrics game pass it costs the same amount as the hair colors game pass and again it helps your avatar to look really nice the reason why I put it after the hair colors game pass though is because you can make outfits without fabrics I don't wear the fabrics that often like it's not like a necessity in order to make your outfits look nice but if you've already got the hair colors one you may as well get the fabrics to go along with it afterwards <laughs> And so then I recommend you go and get the crystal ball game pass although do note it only works on PC that's one of the reasons why I put it fifth because if you are not on PC then this is not worth it at all just making that clear because all you're going to get is a crystal ball accessory and it really is not worth 300 robux for it <laughs> but if you are on pc then next i recommend you go and get the crystal ball game pass because it is really helpful for taking nice photo shoots since it allows you to get angles that you just can't get otherwise <laughs> And so the final game pass that I would think you should get is the paintbrush game pass. The reason why I put it last is because it's not that useful, it just colours stuff and it's not even like colouring stuff on your avatar. It colours your phone but you don't use your phone that much anyway. It colours your roleplay name but I personally don't even have a roleplay name most of the time. <laughs> and the heart indicator, I don't think anyone's going to notice that. And then the unique profile... I only realised that you could colour it yesterday or the day before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that kind of proves you, you don't really need it colored and then the same thing with painting your lockers if you're not the sort of person that uses the lockers much then it's just not worth it for you which is why I recommend you buy it last if you still have extra robux and you're just like you know what may as well <laughs> So finally, we have to reveal the cost of everything in game. You guys may remember this from last year, how much everything costed. 
it was a lot, okay? And now it's even more than it used to be and it is so crazy how much everything costs now to buy in Real High. And so as you can see from all of these people, there are a wide variety of outfits that you can make in Real High using loads of different accessories, wings, skirts, heels. And the stuff that you can wear on your avatar isn't everything, of course. Because there's also all of the dorm items, which haven't changed in cost, if I'm correct, it is 77,000 diamonds. And so now, let's go on to the big question. How much does it cost to buy everything in Real High now? Because it used to be a lot before. I reckon it's going to be a lot more now. So here we are inside of a shop and do note that some of the items are off sale now and they're like off sale forever so those aren't going to be included in the cost which is why you may be expecting everything to cost even more than it does although it is like a lot already. <laughs> And so let's go to the cheapest category first, which I think is the heels. So let's go to the girls' heels first of all. The girls' ones all together cost 75,000 diamonds for all of these, excluding the limited edition ones. I do have a total cost of everything limited edition, which I will cover afterwards. So these are all of the girl ones. All of the non-limited edition ones cost 75,000 diamonds. And then if we go to the boy ones, there are only two. And it doesn't take very long to do the calculations. It's 23,000 diamonds and so overall all of the heels that are non-limited edition cost 98,000 diamonds which is already a lot and then the limited heels cost 235,500 diamonds you guys are probably not expected it to be that much but it is because you have the thigh high princess boots the princess star force figure skates both of the saint patrick's day heels the batman heels and the shadow empress chain boots that is a lot of limited edition heels and they are all expensive because they took a lot of time to make so next up we have a skirt and so if you go to the short category all of these short ones are 77,350 diamonds excluding all of the limited edition ones of course and then if we go over to the long skirts they all together cost 178,000 diamonds and none of these are limited edition and so then if you go to all of the skirts, all of them all together, wait, are we on all? Yeah, we are. <laughs> all of the skirts all together that aren't limited edition cost 255,350 diamonds. Yeah, that's a quarter of a million. That costs a lot of diamonds. And the limited edition skirts cost a total of 75,000 diamonds, which isn't a lot compared to the cost of everything else. So we've been spared on the limited edition stuff. <laughs> And so next we have the accessories which also cost a lot because j just look at how many of these there are that range in different costs not included in the limited edition items. Yeah, there's a lot of them and altogether they cost 250,800 diamonds. And so where is the limited? Here it is! So the limited edition items, all of these all together cost 22,850 candies. And then, get, get prepared for this, <laughs> 465,750 diamonds. Yeah, that's about half a million. <laughs> now you guys may be seeing just how expensive everything in Rahai is. It is a lot, trust me. <laughs> And so now let's go over to the most expensive thing of all which is the wings and so there aren't many new wings so you guys may recognize these figures from before next year they'll probably be a lot different though because there'll be some new elemental wings but yeah if you come to the galaxy wings they cost 78,750 diamonds the bakery wings cost 30,250 diamonds the extra elemental wings cost 75,250 diamonds. The Sailor Scout wings cost 52,000 diamonds. Yeah, it's a lot, I know. <laughs> the Water wings cost 24,000 diamonds. It's the cheapest category of wings. Then there's the Ice wings for 31,150 diamonds. Then we have the Light wings that are another 51,075 diamonds. Then we have the nature category, which altogether costs 34,850 diamonds. <laughs> then we have the fire category, which costs 35,050 diamonds. 
Then we have the dark category, which costs 52,500 diamonds. And then we have a new category that came recently, which is the earth category. And all of these wings cost 100,250 diamonds and all together get prepared for this it costs 565,125 diamonds yeah that's over half a million you guys may be seeing now just how expensive everything in rare high is it's so much it's crazy <laughs> And see the limited edition wings now. You thought that was everything. No, 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 no. We have the Christmas wings, which altogether cost 94,000 diamonds. We have the Valentine's wings, which cost 69,250 diamonds. We have the Lucky Wings, which cost 110,250 diamonds. Then we have the Halloween wings. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're still going through this. Which cost 182,450 diamonds. And then finally, we have the autumn wings, which cost 50,250 diamonds. So, all together, the limited edition wings cost 506,200 diamonds. Yeah, that's a million diamonds just in wings. I still can't believe that. Wings actually cost so much because there's like so many of them. It's actually crazy just how many different categories of wings that there are. So um yeah, if you decide to buy everything in rare high despite the fact that it's extremely expensive, the all total of how much everything cost, excluding limited edition items, was 955,425 diamonds. Now, the new total is, is just a tad bit more than last year. The new non-limited total is 1,246,275 diamonds. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still can't believe how expensive it is. Oh my gosh, that's actually so much. <laughs> And so if you decided to buy this with Robux, I don't know why you would, but it costs 95,867 Robux, which converts to 810 pounds and 43 pence. And if you're from the US, that converts to $1,055.89. Yeah, it costs a lot to buy everything around high. I still can't believe this, honestly. Like, I'm still thinking that I did something wrong, but I didn't. <laughs> And so now we have the total of only the limited edition items, which altogether cost 839,550 diamonds and 22,850 candies. Yeah, that's a lot. And it brings up the total of how much everything costs in diamonds and candies to get, get prepared for this. And 825 diamonds and 22,850 candies. <laughs> Over 2 million diamonds to buy everything in rare high. That is crazy. I can't believe it costs so much. That is actually so insane. And so it did the cost of how much everything costs in Robux, excluding the candies, because the price of them isn't definite, because this year we weren't able to spend diamonds in order to get the candies. So technically they don't count as a purchasable item, they count as a free thing. And so everything costs 160,448 Robux, which in pounds is 1,300. £156.37, pence, which all the way converts to $1,767.19. Yeah, everything costs a lot, I know. <laughs> I still can't believe this. It's actually so insane how much everything in Rare High costs. But you do have to remember, this is over a span of 12 months, not to mention some of these items didn't come out this year, some of them came out in previous years. And so there's been a lot of time for Rare High to make all of these items, and they didn't just like come up with some big 1 million diamond update all of a sudden. They did all come out in small amounts, which are affordable. So if you guys decide that you want to buy everything in Rare High using real life money, um, good luck with that. <laughs> But anyways, that is the end of the video. Let me know which one of these categories was most helpful for you. But anyways, make sure you ring the bell to be notified. You like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hey.